Hello Python programmers, so the most awaited video series is finally out, the machine learning with Python video series and in this video series we will try to cover as much topic related to machine learning as possible. So let's talk about this video. Now if you are really new to this concept machine learning then this video is the one for you. Don't skip even a second of this video because you will learn a lot from this video. I'll try to cover these topics like what is machine learning, how machine learning works, we'll draw a rough blueprint which will enhance your understanding of the working mechanism of machine learning and some of the applications of machine learning and why it is so important to understand this concept. So let's get started so what is machine learning now if we talk about the bookish explanation then machine learning is the application of mathematical formulas or mathematical concepts to do some real life or do some uh, decision making without the instruction from the user so let me break this down because i know you are a bit confused so you know that machines are dumb like you have to tell them what they have to do right but now they are getting smarter how because they are using our data to make decisions and this is what machine learning is they take the data from the user by some machine learning algorithm that is a mathematical algorithm or mathematical formula creates an understanding and then gives you a decision this is what simply machine learning is and you will understand more by a simple workflow or a simple flowchart of how machine learning works so just wait and so let's get started with this so first of all the first step of machine learning is data extraction that is you extract the data this data can either be received from a sensor which is the real life application of machine learning or just provided in the form of a database okay so this is what data extraction is then we'll go on to data pre-processing now this is very important process and usually people who teach um, machine learning skips this but, thi but this is very important concepts it basically has two parts first is uh, find uh, first is resolving the missing term missing term uh, problem and then dividing the data set or the provided data into two part test and train so first of all we'll talk about now let me write test and train <laughs> uh, okay so this is test and this is train okay so first of all let's talk about what is missing data or missing term in a database let's say that you have a database of the employees working in a office and you want to make a decision that they would be fired or not fired or not fired now there are some parameters let's say a b c on which the decision had to be made now these are the data provided like like multiple uh, employees having the data and some of the data are missing here like for the c1 this parameter is missing so it can really affect the output of uh, for that employee so it is very important to resolve this problem and this problem can be resolved by simply application of mean median and mode uh, so we'll talk about that in our future videos but you need to understand this concept that how it works this is why I am explaining you this okay so you need to resolve this problem 
missing data now let's come to the test and train division of our data set so let's say that this is our machine learning algorithm okay this is our machine learning algorithm here so the data which is provided is divided into two section test and train the train is uh, usually 80% of the data and the test is 20% like you are having this uh, like let's say that uh, this database of uh, employee is having 10 rows then uh, 8 rows will be reserved for the train and two rows will be reserved for test now this is a very small data set which i am talking about usually there are hundreds and thousands of uh, values but this is just an explanation okay so first the train data is provided to our machine learning algorithm and the uh, machine learning algorithm creates a pattern that that what pattern the result is following right now explaining you in simple words the train word is self explanatory the algorithm is getting trained and then to test that whether our uh, algorithm is working perfectly or not or it is just for the train data it is perfect we'll provide the test data here okay so after the machine learning algorithm is trained it is provided to test data sorry uh, just a second it is provided to test data and if the efficiency is less than 95 percent then this process is once again repeated this is the maximum uh, this is not a thumb rule but uh, this is what we expect from a machine learning algorithm so this process continues and after the efficiency is achieved uh, which is very satisfactory then the output is received here output so this is what machine learning is now summing up all this let me try to explain you machine learning in just one sentence machine learning is simply giving the capability to a machine to take decisions on their own like like machine learning is used to detect cancers so once the data set uh, sorry once the algorithm is trained that these are the symptoms or these are the patterns which followed are resulting in cancer then then when this algorithm is applied in real life then it can automatically detect that whether a person is having cancer or not okay so this is the application of machine learning and this answers our fourth question that what is the application of machine learning machine learning is having number of application now from our daily use like uh, let me try to explain you with a very popular example let's say that uh, you go on a shopping site like on Amazon or Flipkart or Snapdeal and and search for let's say a shoe right now after searching for that if you go to any blog you watch any video you will get ads related to shoes only because the machine learning in the uh, Google is fixed or trained to deliver you the personalized ad so that first of all you can get relevant ads second the advertisers can get a uh, sale because obviously you are 
interested in buying shoes and it is more likely that you will click on that link and you will buy that so the advertisers make money the Google makes money and you are also happy so machine learning is creating luxury for us and second machine learning is becoming a very powerful tool for our future like I have just explained you that machine learning can be used to detect cancer it is also used in astronomy uh, sorry astronomy engineering and in many fields machine learning is used to get a better and more perfect results so this explains you why should you learn machine learning because it's there everywhere so this is it for this video this was a this was a short explanation of machine learning what machine learning is what is the application of machine learning now if you have any doubts related to machine learning then comment down below because i know i am not that great at explaining but uh, but i think i tried my best so uh, so in the next video we'll try to see that what are the data types related to machine learning now you don't want to skip that video because that is very important if you want to understand machine learning okay so meet you there bye bye